Okay, and we're back for some more tuning, which is a good thing because I'm still plugging away and trying to learn the stuff. Um, today, it's a little bit windier than I was hoping for, and uh, hopefully that doesn't mess things up and uh, impact this uh, these test flights here. But today I've got the clean filter preset loaded up. I'm going to try that one. And I'm also going to try out the very clean filter preset. And I uh, hope my motors aren't too hot and it's uh, not going to screw me up or burn anything up. But uh, let's uh, get some plates in and uh, off we go. Okay, so that was the tuning flight on the clean preset. And here's just that comparison again of what changes between the normal preset and the clean preset. So that gyro filter multiplier goes up. So that's less filtering on this clean uh, preset. Uh, so this one here is my clean preset. And I've already trimmed everything out. I've got the right log in here. So I'm starting out looking at the gyro scaled or information before the filters. So um, again, things are getting knocked down. And I don't see anything major up in here. So, you know, this may be a little bit boring because everything kind of seems about the same. But this is... Uh, me trying to learn it so here is the pitch and after filtering looks like things get knocked down mostly though I do see some more stuff up here than I do all the way up here uh, I don't know if that's more noise or not I may have to go back and look at uh, some uh, previous ones to see if the filtering is making a difference and yaw before and after things are getting knocked out as well or noise is getting knocked down it's a little hump right there I don't I don't think uh, let me look at this comparison because I don't think anything changes on yaw filtering no it doesn't so um, maybe that was there before yep still unclean clean version um and then d term we're looking at between 100 and 200 hertz and to be honest this part doesn't look like here so it looks like some noises creeping in there and on pitch probably the same thing um let me look at the, because I did a test flight on the very clean preset as well, which is right here comparing it. So that's a lot less filtering than the normal one, which is before, beforehand, but uh, also compared to the clean preset as well. So on to, yes, the very clean preset, looking at gyro... Uh, scaled so before filtering and then after filtering so I guess all the before stuff shouldn't look anything different between presets but um, it's the f after filtering though really looking at and again this looks like some more stuff creeping in there because down here there's nothing down here and then there's a little bit of stuff here um, pitch kind of looking that same way with a little bit in here on the bottom of that and then yaw just out of curiosity yeah that's still there on um uh, so d term again zoom into 100 to 200 and there's a lot more stuff happening there um on pitch and roll let me look at 
stats on very clean. This is clean on roll. So that kind of stopped around 250 there. And on very clean. Yeah, it's about the same spot, but there's still a lot of stuff there. Uh, let me go ahead and pull up this normal preset because uh, I really want to look and see what's changing in uh, those filters or in that noise. So real quick, I just got to pick a couple points here and hopefully that's good. Uh, so I was on D term roll, I believe, uh, and zoomed in some. So 100 to 200 hertz. Yeah, here I don't really see anything on this normal. And let's just try to stay with a clean. And there's a lot more. Just double check. Yeah. Okay. Let me go back to after filtering on roll, set that scale the same and look at normal. So there we go. Uh, nothing really there on the normal. Let's see what on clean looks like. I'm seeing a little bit and to be honest, like I mentioned in the previous video, the warnings on the clean and the very clean presets say something about having good props, you know, no grinding motors or anything like that. And everything's fine now on this build, but I do fly freestyle. I do hit things. I do fly with beat up props. I do turtle mode and I do sometimes fly back with half a prop or something. So I think I'm going to go ahead and play on the safe side and go to this normal preset and just stay there. Um, which I guess is good because that's also close to the default. Just uh, if I pop back here, I can show that as well that between the normal and the default, the only thing, only differences are that gyro low pass is off. Um, obviously the RPM filter is turned on in there and the dynamic notch filter there is a little different. What all that stuff does and means, I don't know, but hey, I'm just trying to figure this out and looking at a few things and hopefully learning along the way. So I'm going to try this normal preset and stay with that. And if anybody's got any else to add, you know, feel free to share a comment or two. And hopefully this is educational for everybody. Um, and I'm going to keep plugging away. And next up, I'll be doing some PIDs. So stick around and uh, watch me learn.